Hey, what's up everyone? Danny and Alex. In these next segments, we're going to be looking at some Muay Thai kickboxing techniques. In this first video, I'm going to show you guys some basic punches and how to use the focus mitts to train them at home. So check it out. All right, so we're going to take turns, but first I want to explain the different punches. Like in a few videos past, like um, I think maybe like a set of videos a few weeks ago, we talked about the basic jab, then we talked about the cross and the hook and whatnot. So we're going to put those punches together. Okay, so the first thing is always working your focus mitts correctly. So if you're someone who's just starting out, don't forget this video is a basic video for the people who are just yet starting out in Muay Thai or kickboxing. I personally like to use crossing my punches. So for example, if I'm going to be using the jab, some trainers will use the jab on this side. I like to use it on the opposite side. So left for left and right for right. Okay, so that's the first thing. The second thing is also use the focus mitt at the same height that you're going to be punching. So I want to be preparing. So for example, maybe I was preparing for a Muay Thai fight and my opponent is a little bit taller. I want my trainer to hold the pad slightly higher or vice versa. If he's shorter, I'm going to be you know, always punching at the same height, so strategically preparing myself for the exact targets. But general training, okay, we're going to keep it at our own height. So the jab is always pushing it here, right? So always in a good stance, return back, A, B, A. Remember in the previous video, I talked about that, A, and all is back. So this is A, this is B, and you're pulling back right into A. So A, B, A, always here. So you want to be practicing your jab right in the center. So if you notice, I didn't wear gloves right now because I want to also explain that when we have focus mitts, they're called focus mitts, okay, for a reason. So it's not about just power punching, it's about focusing the proper target. So most mitts, most brands are going to put a circle right in the center. That's the exact aim, that's the sweet spot you want to hit the two first knuckles right on that circle, okay. So that's about the size of where you're going to aim for the chin. You want to catch it right there, or if you want, right at the bridge of the nose or specific targets, okay? So every time I train, I want to focus so I don't hit here or just on the top or completely to the side and maybe even accidentally hit my training partner, okay? So always make sure that you have that proper distance, proper timing, and proper understanding of working with, if you're with someone who's uh, brand new holding the mitts or vice versa, if this guy's holding the mitts, but I am brand new, okay? So always start slow from here and in practice, right? Always in a correct technique. And once you have this static, of course, as you notice, sometimes I'll take a step in and then a step back out. That's my first punch. The second punch I want to cover is your lead hook, okay? So we can actually add it be behind the jab. So I can jab here and then turn right here. So once again, slow, I go one, return, turn it right into my lead hook, okay? So the lead hook, basically, you saw in the previous videos, I always teach to always punch from your shoulder and not just snap from your hand. Always use your body, so I want to rotate. So after my jab, let's use the jab, jab here, and look, I'll turn my body to make that punch a little bit heavier without me having to overexert myself by using a lot from the gas tank, okay? The third punch we're going to talk about is the cross, all right? The right straight. So same thing here, I like to use it on the opposite side since it's my right cross, it's going to be on his right mitt, okay? So as I turn here, I want to focus to land the two first knuckles into the center of the focus mitt, right here, boom, okay? And always make sure that you bring your body with your punches, you step it in, as opposed to leaning it in like this, and then you finish your punch and you're all off balance, okay? So we can start to make combos. Right, so, so example, maybe we go jab cross, the basic one, boom, boom. Sometimes we'll go jab cross hook, boom, boom, boom. Always bringing back into a good stance, meaning your hands up and your trainer holding the focus pads should always be tapping just in front to make sure that you're reminded always to keep your hands up to protect yourself, okay? So those are just some basic punches. We also have hooks to the body, for example. Let's talk about that right now. Notice how Alex is posting one pad on top of the other. Okay, that's a good way. Um, when we practice body shots, we don't want to have the range here, for example, where I have the false sense of distance where I'm punching like this, right? This is wrong, because in reality, I have to step it in. When I want to land a liver shot, I need to walk it in. I'll walk it in here, and boom, that body shot will be to the side. That's the proper distance I need to cover in order to land that shot. So I need to practice this with the focus mitts, okay? So sometimes we'll even practice, let's say, jab cross, and then the body shot will follow. Boom, boom, and then from here, and then come back into my stance, okay? What we're gonna do next is show you a few 
basic combos you can use, like almost to start you off, using the focus mitts, we'll swap the pads. I'll have Alex put a pair of gloves and we'll show you a couple of combos. All right, now we're going to show you a couple of basic punching combinations. Let's switch. And uh, we talked about the jab, the cross, the lead hook, also the lead body shot. Uh, let's show in the uppercut as well, right? So basic combos. Let's keep it short. We're going to build up uh, maybe three different combinations, okay, just out of the blue. So the first one is going to be your jab cross, right? So just working this. And usually when you're starting out, by the way, is you want to break everything down. I like to always train. So if Alex and I are just starting to work together or he's a brand new student, I'll always break the combo down with one punch at a time. So as an example, just pop the jab, a few repetitions, make sure we get that technique down always with one punch at a time, and then maybe only the cross, okay, a few times here. And we might repeat that for multiple, multiple repetitions or even like a couple of rounds. And that lead hook as well, right? So just popping that lead hook, making sure the hands stay tight and always having a nice pop. If you notice here, we're not going all out and we're not overexerting ourselves. What's super important when you punch is to always stay relaxed. Because in Muay Thai, the rounds are three minutes. You want to be able to endure three minutes in length, right? So that 180 seconds is a long time when you're fighting, okay? So if you start to punch too hard when you're training all the time, well, when you get in the ring, you're going to try to do the same thing. So you're not going to be able to relax. You're always going to be so tense and stiff, and that's going to really bring your cardio down very quickly. So we always want to just pop our punches out. And there's going to be occasions when we really ramp it up and then we really go really intensely. But for today's video, this is a basic video, right? So I want to make sure that you walk before you run. So in other words, you always train your technique slowly and then you add some speed and eventually the power is there. Okay, so basics first, all right? So one, two now, all right? See how the punches are always coming back to the starting position, jab, cross. And then we have that combination jab, cross, hook, jab, cross, hook, all right? So that's the first combo actually. We'll just pop a few reps, boom, 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 okay? About medium speed. So that's the jab, cross, hook, the one, two, three. And then sometimes we just play with that, right? So it's just the jab, just the one, two, all right? Just the cross, one, two, three. And we keep on doing that during the entire round. So sometimes, especially when I train with Alex, some of my students as well, I like to always focus on a particular technique or sometimes just at most one combination and just do that thing for the entire duration of that round. So that way there we get a lot of reps and um, sometimes we'll even switch stances, the same combination on the opposite stance, and just put a lot of repetitions on every punch, every combination, so that way they, we really work on perfecting ourselves. All right, let's look at another combination, okay? We'll keep it basic. This time, we're going to start with the right lead, okay? So right here, that's the punch. That's the cross, right? We're just crossing it over. I always want to make sure my partner or my student always has a good stance, hands up, returning his punch back into position. Sometimes I might even check him from here, make sure the hand is up, make sure the hand is in the center as well, you know, so that way there has a proper form, proper technique. Now, from there, we can build, right? So we talked about the body shot. So we can use the cross and then follow through with the left body shot. From here, one, and then right to the body, okay? Again, one. Boom, right to the body. And notice, once again, I don't bring my pads in front. I always bring them where the target is. So that way there, it forces Alex to make a step and cover that range for the body shot. Okay, so again, and one more. And that's the body shot. And then we can reload to get our stance back with the hook to the head, right? So here, boom, boom, right upstairs. Okay, again, boom, boom, boom. And one more, boom, boom, boom. So those are the basic punches. Um, second combinations to get you guys started. You can practice this, do a lot of reps, and we'll get to the next one. All right, the last combo we're going to cover is uh, introducing that lead uppercut. I love that punch. It's almost like a reverse jab. Okay, so the lead uppercut in itself, if I was standing here, what Alex wants to do is take a step and drive the uppercut right underneath the chin, right here, right in the center. A lot of times the hands are going to be like this, and the punch will find its way through between the gloves. Okay, so now when he steps in, I'm just going to hold the pads just in front of my face and not underneath my chin. That way there, it won't bounce right through me. So I'm just going to hold it here, but at the same height as my own chin, okay? All right, so once again, just like the other punches, you always want to give it a quick tap, so that way there you get that pressure and it doesn't overextend the punch. Just 
pops it up and always return into the proper starting position. So that's your lead uppercut. Now we're gonna build it up with the jab first. So jab, lead uppercut. See, we do that a few times and one more. And then we can finish off with the right straight. Boom, boom, boom. That's a beautiful combination. And once more, boom, boom, boom. Nice. So there you have it, guys. Some basic combinations, punching combinations you guys can use on the focus mitts. You can use this on the heavy bag as well. And of course, if you're alone, you can do this in the shadow boxing, right? So you always use this to perfect your form. There's a multitude of combinations you can use, but just a couple here in this video. Hope you enjoyed this content. Leave us a thumbs up. And if you have any questions, ask in the comment section below. Subscribe if you are new here, and we will see you in the next video. Take care.